comes a time when we heed a certain call, when the world must come together as one. There are people dying, oh, when it's time to lend a hand. Understanding that they would grow up to be successful learners and productive adults. We pray your blessings upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to get started with a poem from the Little Rock Toddler Graduates. I am a little graduate. Are you ready? I'm a little graduate. Are you proud of me? I know I know what you're I made lots of friends. Abigail, have fun too. All right, go to that. Say it again. One more time. We're going to say it one more time. I'm a little graduate. Uh huh. Aren't you proud of me? I'm proud of me. You know my numbers and my ABCs. I made lots of friends and I have fun too. 
And now I'm off to Big Kids School. The beginning of long recitations and speeches by politicians and doctors and educators. It all begins right here. So now we will have a selection by VG's daycare graduates. When you look at me. Everybody wants to hear you. Go ahead. Ready? All right, Micah. Big boy. Sure. Tomorrow? Huh? Smile. That chair? Cheese. Hi. Hi. Loud. Wow. Okay, so of course that 
a twist on the if you're happy and you know it. I hear that's the cultural version if you understand what I'm saying. So we know we already have speakers, right? We have poets, we have lyricists, and we have dancers. Of course, we're going to guide them into the best speaking and the best dancing that there is. All right. We're going to move ahead to our guest speaker, Sister Margo Allende, who's the Educational Director of Friends of Crown Heights. Let's welcome Sister Margo Allende. Yay. Woo! You want kid Margo? So, thank you very much, Mr. Riel. <laughs> thank you all very much for coming this afternoon. I hope that you can hear me. I'll project as much as I possibly can. But I will also make it very sweet and very short because we've all been sitting for a while and we know the children can't take it very long. So I'm going to start out with this. In 2017, I had the opportunity to go to Sweden. Sweden has a fantastic and phenomenal educare system. Number one in the world for the education system, Finland, Norway and Sweden. These three countries are top in education. Number one ranking is United States of America. Do you know why it's the number one ranking in the world? It is because it does not say no to anyone who wants to receive an education. Children can come from any country and come into this country and get a phenomenal education, right? Then you have other countries like China, Korea, South Korea, whose educational system is a little bit tougher. They rank number one in the world for scores, but not in early childhood. We rank number one in early childhood. We rank number one in early childhood because we have invested in our young children. And we, we're a little bit behind, I'll tell you the truth, in getting started in early childhood. Because if you look at people like Piaget, Vygotsky, uh, John Dewey, M Maria Montessori, and a whole lot of other theorists, these people started years ago, 1700s, 1800s, seeing the phenomenal amount of work that children can take in and embrace. When you have someone like Ms. Garcia, who has been doing this for 31 years, and doing it successfully, you know okay, right. that she right. saw the importance of starting early with our young children. At the Friends of Crown Heights, we recognize that there are providers like her who have invested time and energy in young children because they see the future, our future. She said earlier, don't celebrate me, celebrate my legend, what I have done what I have vested in young children. It is immensely important that we vest in our young children. We cannot put into young children what we don't have, what we did not receive. I say all the time to the teachers, if you want to teach young children, you have first got to teach yourself. You can't keep repeating the same old. You've got to be on top of your game. You've got to look for the freshness in teaching, the passion in teaching. And after you've been in this for a few years, you get tired and you don't want to do the research. But the research is founded and grounded. And if you teach children, the social emotional is the first and number one that every organization is looking to build and develop in young children. You can teach them math, you can teach them reading skills, you can teach them their colors and their shapes, but if those children know those things, but they can't have a conversation with you, and they can't interact with their peers, something is missing, and it does not connect. So today I tell you that with all the work that you're doing with your children, you are making sure, first and foremost, that you've got that relationship with your children and that you are building their social skills because it's going to take them so far into the future. I thank you all for coming out because it is quite evident that you have invested in your children. You would not be here today if you did not feel that connection with what Miss Garcia is doing and if you did not really want to see the best for your young children. Many people do not make it out to events like these. Many people do not have events like these. That she is having something like this says, this is important to me. 
I have vested in these children. I want these parents to see what I see in them so that they too can continue on the road. I don't want to be long-winded. I have spent time in Europe. I have seen Sweden's educare system. I have seen Switzerland's educare system. I have seen Spain's education, uh, educational system. And I can tell you that their way of teaching young children is open, very little interference from teachers. They're there to guide them. They're there to encourage them. They're there to speak positive words in them. They're there to make sure that they understand the connection, the social connection, before they start with the math and the reading. And I know that culturally, as West Indians, as uh, uh, um, Africans and other countries where we value education like that, we tend to be tough with our children. We want them to learn the numbers, the shapes, the colors, and all that good stuff. But I'm telling you that having fun and enjoying the learning is important. It's tremendous and it is what we want for our young children. I guarantee you that if your children are enjoying their environment, if they're enjoying their peers, if they're enjoying their caregivers, you are going to have an excellent outcome later in the future. So don't focus, don't put that much focus now into teaching all the letters. It's important, yes, but you want to make sure that the social connection is there first and foremost. Right, I thank you all for coming out. I don't want to be long-winded. Ms. Garcia invited me to be here and I have spoken at several engagements where I had to tell you, I sat down and I thought, what on earth am I going to talk about? And I went to the computer, I wanted to do some research, but I decided, Alyssa, let me talk from my heart from what I know and from what I am passionate about. So I thank her very much for having me here to speak. I just want to encourage you all to continue on the trend that you are on. Standing there for your children, being there for your children, being that positive piece of connection for your children. And I thank you, Ms. Garcia, again. So have a lovely afternoon. Thank you for coming. I don't Wait. want to hold up for too much time ah, and it's raining. But thank you all for having me. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone in the back can hear my voice. Um, Ms. Talisa, who is the Educational Director for ACSP Services, could not be here this afternoon, so she did send me a very short speech, of which I will read to you. My name is Gabriel Rock, I'm the Director of Little Rock Carnival's Daycare. Myself and Darcy have been out here for years, in daycare. And we hope to continue on a while more longer. I don't know how much longer it will be, but a while longer. Um, Ms. Talisa said, on behalf of ACP Shade Services, we want to wish the graduating class and their families continued success. We hope the years ahead continue to be filled with laughter, fun, and lots of learning. Always remember, laugh as much as possible. Let in the good times and get through the bad, even in the most in the midst of the pandemic. And I want to say again, good luck to all the graduates, Mr. Lisa White. We're going to Ms. Veronica. Do you want to do the presentation now of certificate? Yes, Okay. The first person I'm going to call is Oliver. Your name? Denard. I'm sorry. Oliver. Go get your thing. So this will be the moment that the graduates come to get their certificates. Families will be Oliver, Oliver, hold it up. Hold it. You got the top of it. Look at me, Oliver. Wipe your mouth. 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 The next person is Sarah Romeo.
Sarah Romeo, can I get a clap, sir? Sarah Eris. Come on, Sarah. Here. Abigail Hamilton. Abby, I'll be starting early. Sure. Your class of 2022. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give the certificates off for VGS Day here. So in the essence of time and, and my pragmatism, the, just, the diplomas are going to be given now and there are um, gift bags to be given. We'll give them to the parents who know how to handle them appropriately. Are we all on one accord? Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Okay. So first person is William Koss. Jackson Robert. Jackson. I'm Jackson. Samara Efren. I could not have done it alone. So I want to say thank them for actually being there to guide and to teach the kids. And again, I want to thank the parents for giving me that trust, so trust in me and giving me the confidence that I can actually impart and teach the kids what they're supposed to know in order to leave and go to school. 
Again, thank you. If any kids wants to say anything, any parents wants to get up and make a speech, feel free to do so. So now, I just want to thank, oh, you know, throughout the years, I always see you drop your children off at my program throughout the years. And you go to work. And even the first day, I never see you come back. I never see you call me. And it just tells me that the trust that you guys have in me throughout the years. And I want to say thank you. I don't take it lightly. It's something that I, I truly, 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 truly acknowledge. And I never forget it. And I never, I try my best daily never to betray that trust that you guys have in me. Leaving your children the first day and just dropping them off, going off to school to your work, your play, your school, whatever, and never look back, never worry, never whatever. And I thank you. I have I have Miss Alana here. Her son is now 23 years old, just graduated with his bachelor's from Brooklyn College in Anthropology. I said he came to see me. Um, that's Jackson's um, uncle. And um, today I have Jackson, which is 23 years later. And so, you know, I, 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 I urge you, when your children leave, don't forget about who we are because I want to know how your children are doing during the course of the year. Because these are my legacy. It ain't about me, it's about your children and your children doing well. And today I want to thank you guys. I thank you for coming. I thank you all for being supportive. You all have been good parents. I, I must say good parents. Um, I don't have to track you for money. I don't have to track you for time. You pick up, you drop off on time. And I just want to say thank you and hope that what your children have learned, Miss Ayendi talk about social relationship, you could see them, they're very sociable, especially that little man behind there, that's our great explorer, he explores, he climbs, like the little, but children also are school ready, they're people ready, they're school ready, and for that, I am grateful. I thank you all so much. I also want to acknowledge, uh, not, uh, well, we acknowledge her already, but uh, uh, our ed uh, education specialist, uh, Miss Kylie, Miss Kimberly Hodge, and Miss Daniel. Interested, Miss Daniel? Years ago, I trained Miss Daniel Health and Safety to become a provider. Years later, she's my she is my monitor for health and safety. <laughs> I, 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 that's so funny, but it is a reality. Okay. And who else? I want to take time to Anne Marie stand up. All of this stuff, Anne Marie, Miss Joseph, my friend, my colleague. That's okay. She can stand up. She's all of this, she gave my decoration thing. Great friends, and I put it all together. She's also one of our trainers. We met you then, somebody else. So if I didn't call your name, all right, let's take Miss Morgan is here today also, our former assistant. Um, thanks for coming. And all of you, I thank you, Mr. Gabriel. I thank you for always sharing a space with us to do our graduation. Somehow we're going to start praying next year that it does not rain. Okay. I thank you all. Miss Day. Miss Day. Miss, uh, where are you guys? Where's your helper? Miss, uh, Miss Carrie Ann. Thank you. Thank you all. Parents, Miss Gabriel, family, little toddlers, parents of family. I, this is the one place when I'm full that I send your children. Because if I don't think a daycare is safe for my children, I don't recommend it to nobody. And this is where, this is one of the two daycares that I recommend recommendations to. When I'm full, which I'm always full, I say, go talk to Gabriel. Gabriel, you got space? Yeah, I'm sending a parent. If I don't feel my child is going to be content in a daycare or happy, I don't recommend it. So I want to thank her for many things. We've been friends for a number of years. And I bless everybody and I thank you. And we are parents. Mr. 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 Polycarp, my his kids. We got three of his kids graduated and I still have two in the daycare. Um, <laughs> but you know what? He's always there as a big help. And I thank you. I acknowledge all my parents. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I know some of your kids are leaving and you still have one behind. So I guess I'll see you guys later. The ones that are going off. Thank you. You've been wonderful, and God bless you all. Grandmothers and grandfathers and uncles and aunts and cousins. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
that would like to make a comment and please you just make it short so that phone don't get cold. Uh, parents comment. Any bad parents? You want to say something? Real quick. I'm not very good in speech. That's okay. That's I just nice. I just want to say openly. I did say to her thanks um, to Miss Norma. I know it's Miss Norma. Um, I did say to her personally, thank you for taking good care of Sarah. But I want to come up front and, and, open, and openly thank her from the bottom of my heart for taking care of her. Sarah's my fourth child. Oh, She's nice. a baby. And uh, honestly, mm -hmm. it's, it, when um, giving birth to Sarah, it was all brand new to me. Oh, it was a mother again, the starting over the whole process. So when I came to Miss Norma, she understood and she was very patient, very careful. Um, she understood everything. I did not feel like I was judged. I did not feel uncomfortable. I did not feel unsafe. I, I was, her home was open to me at any point, at every day. And Sarah's been with her since she was six months, right? A baby, six months. She stayed with uh, Miss Gabriel and now she's four years old. She has not had any complication. I have not had any complication. Except I annoy Miss Norma, of course, sometimes for some simple things that I know. But it's the mother's, you know, the jitters. <laughs> I call it new mom jitters. But um, I felt real comfortable with her. She's very patient. I call her, she will stay on the phone for a long time and she listens. And she takes her time and she explains things. What's going on, the changes that's happening within the, the daycare and all of that. And anything that I wasn't sure about, she invited me to come in and to see for myself. So I really, really want to say thank you so much, Miss Gabriel and Miss J for taking good care of Miss Diane. No, Miss Diane just came on board, but Miss J and Miss Gabriel have been with Sarah for a long time, from the very beginning. So thank you so much for all these years and um, I'm taking such good care of Sarah. She loves you so much and now she's ready to move on. She's very much prepared for school, even though I know she might um, now and then. She, she, I don't think she's 100% understand that she's moving on to a new school but she does say it she says oh i'm going to a new school i'm going to a new school but i know when she gets there it's going to be something else she's going to say yeah where are my friends you know so she made friends and everything so i'm so thankful for her and i recommend highly recommend her to any new mom or anyone who's looking for a daycare to come here because delicious one thing i'm going to miss here the delicious food the one thing I was very impressed about with the egg um la eggplant lasagna that she made and she baked her own pizza, she baked, she baked her own bread. I tell everybody and I recommend, I said, you want good food? Yes, I met a mom in the park and she was like, well, I'm looking for daycare. And I said, Miss Norman, she said, and she said, she cooks? I said, yes, she does cook for them. Home cooked food, everything's nice and done. She's well fed. And even though she go beyond that because there are times she opens her kitchen, her cupboard, um, what's it? I don't remember. Naya. Naya is the food she's sharing with her the kids. Like, well, should I have said that? <laughs> but anyway, I'm fine. She always talks to me about it. She says, you know, I, she does not want this. Can I give her such and such? And I will say, okay, yes. Very good organic food. She's been fed here, so I 100% recommend her to anybody who's looking for a daycare. And you can spread the word. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to Ms. Garcia, Ms. Morgan, Ms. Carrie Ann, yeah. Ms. Laura, all the people that have helped Ms. Garcia with the program. I think when we first moved to the neighborhood, we were we, we were starting our search over again for a daycare, and we were so excited to call up. We just picked a number out of the, the daycare listings, and we called, and she had such a different approach than everyone else in terms of asking us. How do you feel about us? It's not about here, this is what we have and this is what we have to offer and take it if you will. It was a very much, I understand your feelings and how your comfort level is. You have to be comfortable. And I was definitely comfortable. Everyone asked me like, are you you're comfortable just sending your five month old to daycare right now? And I, I just what she said, like we trusted her and we trusted her, her process and her system and her experience. So I, I really, to not skip a beat in terms of feeling that way. So thank you for all of the care and also caring for our littler one right now. Um, and we're really happy that we're still a part of the VG family for a little bit longer. Um, so, so thank you again for all everything. Thank you, you're yeah. welcome, thank you. Thank you.
parents, grandparents, whoever you are. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Miss Garcia, I've known many years. She's my church sister, and my grandkids go to her daycare. And one of the reasons that my daughter-in-law picked Miss Garcia, because when I went home and told her the kind of daycare that she runs, and the most important thing that she does is pray every day. Seek the Lord. And your children knows about the Lord because of Miss Garcia. So please, instill it in them. Don't let them forget it. If they might be going to public school, it may not be their prayers, may not be in school, but don't let them forget it. Because right now the world we live in is rough. So we need those prayers and we need the parents also praying with their children. So I thank you all and I ask God blessings upon you all. And I thank him for my dear sister in Christ. And I love you. God bless you. Thank you. Let the children give thanks. They know how to give thanks. Hey, my girl. You guys know how to say thank you? I know you know how to say thank you for food. I know, right? Huh? Let's say thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Well, let's say thank you. Come on, Jackson. Come on, Michael. Come on, guys. Let's, we're going to eat. What do we do before we eat? We um, say, say grace. grace. So let's say the grace. Amen. Let's say the grace. grace. Come on. Grace. Mm, we thank you for all. There you go. Good job. So, you know, there's That's food one. in the back. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll be serving. I guess I'll be helping serve. I need some service. Um, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's my way of saying thank you and giving back something. Um, you know. In your bag, I have to say to the parents, I hope I don't offend anyone. In your children's package, I, there is a children's Bible in there. And I know they can't read it now, but I first read it for them because our world is really crazy out there and we need to give our children some godly direction. I was at the barber shop cutting my hair and um, the barbers were having a conversation and they were saying, you know, when we were growing up, when the police came, we were afraid. When we cursed and we saw an adult, we were scared. He said, but the kids today are fearless. They don't care anything. They have no fear for no one. And we don't want our children to grow up being afraid, but we want them to fear God Almighty. So I put that book. I know they may not be able to read it or not, but if you practice reading it to them, at some point in time, they will learn to read it. The Bible says, teach the children in the way they should grow, and when they grow up, they will never depart from it. And so I encourage you, godly living for your children. Let's go. Um, the children said the grace already. Let's eat. And like Miss Andy said, let's eat and let's socialize. Yeah. I'm just glad to be here. It's good to see something that you started and finished. Because I had them since 12 months, since they were 4 months. So it was important to be here today. Right, right, right. My mother's comrade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best in the business, Veronica Garcia. Right on, right on, right on. Careful, face in the bend.